In the UK, the government has announced plans to roll out a COVID-19 vaccine to 30 million people by September if the current round of trials prove to be successful. The University of Oxford has started the first phase of clinical testing of a vaccine. Our reporter Damon Embling went to go and meet one family who are taking part. Meet the Viney family, Katie, her husband Tony and their daughter Rhiannon. The COVID-19 pandemics left them locked down at home near Oxford. But refusing to stand by and do nothing, they could now go down in health history by all taking part in Britain's first human trial of a potential vaccine. So many other people have been able to do their bit and I just thought, I can't, I'm not a nurse, I'm, I'm not a trained doctor, so this is the thing that I can do, so I will do it. The Vineys are among more than a 1,000 healthy volunteers being recruited for the trial, led by the University of Oxford, half of them getting the prototype vaccine, the others a placebo. Researchers want to know if the vaccine triggers an immune response to stop COVID-19 infection and to keep any side effects in check. The trial relies on some participants developing the coronavirus. The Vineys have regularly been taking their temperatures, keeping an eye out for any symptoms. We've had absolutely no side effects whatsoever, really none. Can't even feel where I've had the injection. And I'm not at all worried. I've got no concerns about having this. The hope, as with everybody, is that we find that vaccine that, that could, you know, let the world get back to whatever normal becomes. It's really nice to be able to volunteer for something like this. And we feel a bit honoured to, to be able to do that, truthfully. With no guarantee of a vaccine, Oxford University is also leading what it describes as the world's biggest treatment trial. HIV and anti-malarial drugs and antibiotic are among those being tested on COVID-19 patients. Some people will end up in hospital even when we have a vaccine. Over the past eight weeks, we've now recruited um, over 10,000 people from over 180 different hospitals. We're testing lots of different treatments, and at the moment it's too early to say um, whether any of them are beneficial or not. We won't know, but hopefully we'll get some answers over the summer. Oxford is at the heart of global efforts to conquer the coronavirus. The British government says if the vaccine trials here are successful, 30 million doses could be ready as early as September. The US also says it may have a vaccine by the end of the year. But is it all just wishful thinking? Experts warn the magic bullet may never be found. Damon Embling, Euronews, Oxford.